of a Kino Sports Special today. The return of the senior Durham County rugby team after a three year absence. Northumberland are the visitors to the home of Hartlepool Road. I'm especially proud to be covering this game today as I remember vividly my dad packing me up in a car to watch Durham win the County Cup at Twickenham in 1989. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome you, the viewer, to the Fryer Ridge for full game coverage of Durham County versus Northumberland for the Bill Beaumont Men's Championship and it's next on Keno Sport. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, been great to sort of take charge with, uh, with Pete and Johan and, and get the group together. Obviously a talented bunch from all over the county, so massively excited for the season ahead. How have the preparations been? Have you been able to get the team together for a few? Yeah, sessions? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd three sessions now, um, plenty of lads from all over the county like you said earlier. Um, it's, it's immense squad depth and obviously the training's been fantastic with a group of lads who are all willing to buy and play in some sort of no pressure rugby, you know, so looking forward to today. And what do you, what do we, what are we expecting to see from your team today? Um, I think we, we put a big focus on no pressure rugby, you know, they've, they've had long hard seasons, they've all earned the right to be here, so we just want them to go and enjoy themselves and throw the ball around and hopefully it stays there. Uh, Decent weather here at Hartlepool today, so we can throw it around. Lovely, thanks so much thanks for your time. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. 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 Cheers, your first involvement with the Northumberland County team. How's it gone so far? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's been, uh, the, the boys have trained really, really well, um, especially Jurassic Park uh, getting to the final today as well. It's sort of changed preparation a little bit midweek, but uh, it's, it's great for, for them to get to the final and, and obviously other boys get an opportunity to come and play for the county today. Um, and I'm really excited. The boys have trained well Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, looking forward to throwing the ball in a bit today. So we're looking forward to, to some expansive rugby today. You yeah, well, that's the, the plan, is it? Just throw around and have a go. That's what Rips and the rugby is about: is, is, is try to put your best foot forward. And that's what we said to the guys today: is just go out there, enjoy it, and, and have a crack, and, and, and have a go, and, and show what, what you are as a rugby player, and, and, and enjoy it, and play with a smile on your face. Wonderful. Thank you very much for all the support. All the best. Cheers. Thank you. English. since Durham have actually put out a senior county yeah. team. Do you want to explain the reasons behind why, why it's been so difficult? Ultimately, um, it was funding from the RFU. The RFU reduced the uh, funding that was made available to uh, the representative rugby teams to £2,000 per team, which it's not practical to fund uh, you know, a pool game, uh, a set of pool games you know, with that level of you know funding, so it's reliant on the CB producing uh, the shortfall, and it was felt uh, due to the time frames that were involved last season that it was going to become very troublesome. However, um, when I accepted uh, the position of uh, president uh, back in July last year, I wanted to restart representative rugby because it allows the CB to punch above its weight, and it was something that. Uh, I uh, stuck my neck on the block to uh, move forward and have raised some money to plug the shortfall in uh, what it takes to uh, fund these teams towards the possibility of a final. We've got two really exciting teams today. Um, what do you hope to see from today's game? I want it to be enjoyable for everybody that watches it, plays within it. Uh, the last time that the county played a senior men's game at the Fry Ridge against Northumberland was 1993 and the uh, result was 38-10 in Durham's favour. So um, I will be hugely uh, encouraged if uh, they draw some inspiration from that. However, not one to be uh, sentimental about uh, the past. Durham have a particularly strong squad. Um, the eligibility criteria are level five and below. If we choose to enter the competition at the same level next year, then this will be a one season only for Billingham. But hopefully it will be very rewarding and, uh, and fruitful. To the rest of the, uh, the clubs that uh, nominated players, I thank them for that. There was a, a strong response and some very uh, good um, sites at the training sessions that were well attended. Now we are at the Fry Ridge. Uh, Hartlepool Rugby has really flourished over the last few years. The Fry Ridge uh, is steeped in history, entwined within the fabric of Hartlepool and district rugby and uh, the successes that Durham have had as a senior men's 15 on this uh, pitch have been significant. The most recent being the, uh, the plate final win in 2007, which uh, I witnessed and it was an extremely proud day for everybody that is uh, 
passionate and supportive of uh, county rugby. Well, thank you so much for taking your time out. Don't be on the unit, be behind the barrier.
bit scrappy to start. First uh, sort of 40 minutes were very scrappy. You can tell somebody hadn't played for a few weeks, but got going towards the end then, so we played some really good stuff. Yeah, it was quite close there. There seemed to be, when they were trying to get the, the clothes back into the game, that was when you made a line break and scored yeah. the tries. Yeah, we, we wanted to play a really open, quick style of rugby. Uh, we've only had three sessions together, so we can't really be very organised. So we're trying to play with pace and move the ball around as much as we can. We didn't really do that the first half. Uh, the best chance to do it is when you get a turnover, so whenever they made a mistake we took opportunities and we went 60, 70 metres sometimes, which is really good. Um, but a bit of discipline letting us back and the referees were a bit whistle happy, but you know, it is what it was for us. It was a pretty hard hitting game, but uh, full clean bill of health for everyone there? I think so, yeah. It was, uh, it was some good deep, some good, some good shots going in, especially in the first half, but I think we played with a little bit more depth in the second half, which gave us a bit more space and a bit more time on the ball, which, which obviously did mean less contact. Well, Pete, thank you very much for it's taking the time out. You are our MVP of the game as well, so oh, PFC you. Trust, you get a lovely hamper. So, Cheers, all the best and thanks very much. Cheers, Take care now.